we have the capability to levy dollars to from our residents on the long-term facility levy. And every year that goes up based on the size of your buildings, your age of your buildings, and or the number of ADMs or, or pupil, pupil units that you um, have in your district. So currently our school district and board has only uh, levied uh, about $150,000 of that that, that is available to them. Uh, next year that, that will be over $340,000 that they could levy. Um, one of the things our board has talked about doing is if the referendum passes that we wouldn't uh, access those dollars that we are available to us and either keep it at $150,000 or even possibly less of that levy which would result in over a million dollars in savings or more to our residents in the uh, tax uh, statement for them. We'll be in better shape financially with more options if the referendum passes to help our tax constituents out more so than it fails. Um, because we would be in a better shape, better situation, better place where we wouldn't have to take some of those long-term facility dollars. If it fails, we, we end up taking all of that and we actually um, end up probably levying more dollars and not get as much for the biggest, in other words, you don't get as much bang for your buck um, because of that. So in some ways, in many ways, um, passing the referendum uh, would help us as a district be able to move some things around, be able to have some flexibility to repair some things with maintenance dollars, and it goes on a whole net capacity versus just the, the, uh, the resident market value.